Hey, what's up YouTube? So just wanted to do a quick update vid on the tank. Um, I think this is two weeks in what the growth looks like. As you can see, the storage in is starting to carpet and fill in really nicely. Um, from my overhead shot, you can see there's not many um, holes left. I do need to trim a little bit to fill in those gaps. Uh, but the rotala is also doing good. You can see it's getting height now and growing up uh, pretty good. That should flourish. Um, but some people ask to see what the back compartments look like in the tank. If you guys have watched my channel before, you know I've used this tank for a number of different setups, both salt water and fresh water. Um, I think I'm talking about the versatility of it. Uh, but the first thing I love about it is it does have an overflow compartment, which, you know, basically means you've got a crystal clear surface. You know, there's no scum, there's no film to the water. It's very clear all the way to the bottom. Um, but basically, you know, there's just filter floss back here in this overflow compartment. Um, there's some chemical media in there. I believe some purigens in there. And um, I don't know if you can see, but just, you know, some more sponges. It's a good place for uh, beneficial bacteria to colonize. There's a little whisper, uh, a Tetra whisper filter back here as well. Um, and that's really only there for water movement in the back, you know. If you do let this, you know, have just standing water, you can see some buildup. So... This is more so for um, water movement, really, than actual filtration, but it does its job. Um, there's some ceramic uh, kind of biological media down there. Uh, that's a heater right there. You can't really see it because it's really skinny, but they're the really cool um, neotherm heaters from Cobalt. Uh, I set it at 78 degrees, and, you know, that keeps it, you know, right on temperature. And then the, um, the return pump is my Tun-Z pump. Uh, it's really, really powerful, so I've got it pretty much restic restricted to its lowest flow setting. And then the return um, nozzle is a kind of a wide, wide circle right there, so that kind of, I don't know, spreads out the flow a bit so it doesn't blow around any of the substrate. You can see a bit of movement. It kind of, um, kind of shoots it back and recirculates that way. But... All in all, I'm happy with this tank. It's doing really, really well. Not a sign of algae. I have one auto sink list somewhere. I don't know where he is. Um, but he does a good job of uh, keeping the rocks clean. Still only have the 15 rasbors in here. I haven't been able to find the species of Cory I want yet. So I'm holding off on that. But they're all doing really well. You can see they've grown. They get that red coloration really nicely. They've actually shown some spawning behavior, which is really cool. Um, which, you know, I guess means the water parameters are healthy enough because, you know, if fish are breeding or showing breeding behavior, that means they're happy. Um, but yeah, just a quick vid. Hope that satisfies the people that were asking um, what the filtration looks like. And um, stay tuned. I've got a new project in the works. And I'll bring that to you guys uh, in a bit. Later, y'all. Thanks for watching.